Hi, Bobcats. This video starts chapter six, which is about solids, liquids, gases, and something called intermolecular forces, or the forces that hold one particle to another particle. Our objectives for this video are to describe how the particles in the three states of matter are arranged and how they move in those different states. And we also want to describe phase transitions, both in terms of the particle movement and with the correct vocabulary for each phase transition. Images like this are often drawn for the three states of matter, the solid, liquid, and gas states. The particles in a solid state are arranged in um, an orderly fashion. So they, there's a particular um, symmetric arrangement to the particles. They are spaced very close to one another. And while they move just a little bit, they more or less stay in their assigned positions. The types of movements they can do are things like vibrating around that assigned position or even rotating about that assigned position. If a if more energy is added to the sample, the particles start to move more until they finally start to move away from that assigned position and they'll turn into a liquid. In a liquid, the particles are still spaced very closely to one another, but now the particles can move around uh, their neighbors. And then if even more energy is added to the sample, the particles are able to break away from one another and zoom all over the place. And that's the arrangement of particles that we call a gas. It's also possible to have things that are in the solid state that don't have that nice symmetric orderly arrangement of particles. And those things are referred to as a glass. Um, sometimes glasses are described as um, a liquid that um, is just extremely viscous, so the particles aren't able to move past each other, which is um, attempting to, to talk about the arrangement of the particles, but saying that the particles can't move. So they're, they're disordered, they're randomly ordered, but they are all stuck in those positions. This slide is talking about phase changes or the transition from one phase to another. Notice that there are six vocabulary words, um, actually seven, I guess, stuck here on just the phase transitions. For instance, if we look at a solid turning into a liquid, there are actually two words to describe that. Uh, one of those is melting and the other one is fusion. Um, when two things get fused together, usually that process involves melting them into one another. So that's where that term fusion is um, possibly heard, or even something like um, the, the fusion of cuisines. You might have um, Mexican cuisine fused with, fused with um, Hawaiian cuisine, something like that. And those two things get blended together. Um, if we go in the opposite direction and a liquid turns into a solid, we're going to call that freezing. Um, if we have a liquid turning into a gas, we're going to call that vaporization. And whenever a gas turns back to a liquid, we'll call that condensation. It's also possible for a gas and a solid to interconvert directly. If the solid turns into a gas, we call that sublimation. And if the gas turns directly into a solid without going through the liquid phase, we call that process deposition. Um, also, these phase changes are color-coded um, in terms of energy. So on this diagram, the higher you get on the diagram, the greater the energy associated with the state of matter. So gas has the biggest uh, energy and then um, a, a solid has the lowest and a liquid is somewhere in between. And down here at the bottom, we've got these two 
terms endothermic and exothermic. Endothermic is any process that requires you to put energy into the process. So if a solid melts or turns into a liquid, we've got to put energy into it to make that happen. So it's considered endothermic. But if a liquid freezes, we have to remove energy. And so that process is called exothermic. Exo uh, means out. We're taking that energy out of the substance. All right, so to wind up this video, we looked at how particles are arranged and how they move in the three states of matter. And we also talked about how one state transforms into another state. Eat them up, cats.